Welcome to today's edition of Try a Trade Takeout. Today, we're going to be building a small buzzer circuit to test our electrical skills. Before we begin, we suggest that you check the provided materials list to make sure you have all the parts required. To start, we're going to take our base plate and the two provided wooden dowels. The first step is to install the dowel with only one hole so that the hole is on the top and we're just going to slide it in to the base. The second one has two holes so the orientation doesn't matter. For the next step, we're going to take the provided steel wire, as shown, and straighten it out. We're going to thread the steel wire through the bottom hole in the dowel with two holes. And we're going to leave about five inches on the inside there. Next, we're going to thread it through the top of the same dowel, just like that. And here is where you can get creative. You can put your own little design or your own maze for friends to follow. I'm just going to do a simple S, S shape. Once you've got your design in, feel free to thread it through the hole in the opposite dowel and just wrap it around to secure it. For the next step, you're going to grab your double-sided sticky tape, which we've already cut into two pieces, and adhere both the battery and your connectors to the base plate. Next, we're going to create our wand. To do this, we'll need our length of wire, wire strippers, and our plastic wand, which in this case is a pen. What we'll be doing is stripping a small amount of the wire on the end, roughly an inch, as shown. We're just going to twist it up to make it easier to thread, and we're going to stick it through the wand. Once you have your wand threaded, take the bare end of the wire and make a large loop back on itself. Make sure to wrap the wire securely around itself. Next, we're going to take this loop and thread it on to our existing steel wire. To make it easier for yourself, copy the numbers on your written diagram onto your connectors. Next, we're going to attach our battery lead to the battery, like so and begin wiring our connector as per the diagram. Make sure that there is enough wire exposed on the end of each of your lines to make contact with the connector. It is good to note that the red line is positive and the black line is negative coming from the battery. If these are not hooked up in the correct orientation as per the diagram, this buzzer will not work. To attach the wires to the connector, we'll be using our mini Phillips screwdriver, which is shaped like a cross to screw down the connectors once we have inserted our wires. Once you've completed your wiring, you should be ready to test it. Just hit the switch and give it a go. And just like that, our buzzer wire is working. Feel free to test it out and compete with your classmates. <laughs>